Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to European Cup game number 30. This is game 6 of 6 from Group C. Uh, this game is totally meaningless for this group because of what happened in game 29. This game is meaningless. Czech Republic is already officially eliminated at this point for pride. While France, it don't matter if they lose by a hundred, by a thousand, by a million, they'll get first place in the group regardless. They have six points. Both Iceland and Poland finished with four points, so they can all catch up to France. So France can play all their reserves if they wanted to and lose by a bunch. This game has no bearing at all. France already has won this group already. And uh, all Czech Republic is playing for pride. And right there is a French national anthem being sung. France in their normal blue, Czech Republic in their normal uh, red, dark, uh, like a, a red. And here's the Czech Republic national anthem. So, as so far as we know, teams that have punched their tickets to the round of 16 is Italy. And uh, Italy, Norway have punched their tickets in. Uh, Ireland and Germany punched their tickets in. France and um, Poland has punched their tickets in. Iceland and Israel is on hold, but they're looking good to go in. The third place team from Group B does not look is not looking good at the moment, which is a team that Germany defeated. Uh, uh, Greece, yeah, Greece. So we're on the way here in this meaningless match, as I hate to say, but I have to record them all. But this one is already, this is the first meaningless match of the tournament. They usually happen in the group stages, usually in the third round. Oh, no, always in the third round. There is no meaningless match in the second round. But this is the first meaningless match of the tournament. This is sort of like almost like a friendly. They can end in the draw, and it's totally meaningless for both teams. This is sort of like a warm up for France for the knockout, and sort of like uh, just a game for pride for Czech Republic. And then the 13th minute, it's Mbappé putting France up ahead, 1-0. Sounds of the 
會發生啲咁嘅事嘅，佢哋可以點樣做呢？犀利咯，咁早入到波，睇嚟梗係想大勝一場啦。橫傳，哦，俾得太大力啦，個籠銀沒收。基奥特，基奥特分边？呢一下够晒睇头啊！向前传出，跳起一顶，守门员表现好好啊！呢、這个龙门底加人工俾佢啦。边个会攞到呢个波呢？好，而家一个传，基奥特个攻势咧都组织得唔错，但系烂咗尾啊！最衰呢个过头波有翻咁上水平先俾得出嘅，可惜入唔到波。数字，基职师试下挑个波入嚟。直接長傳，查列基奧特話個波唔離腳嘅，出咗界啊！基奧特兩隊要爭啲球波啦，差少少咧就打人匹馬，自己搞個機會出嚟啦，相當之犀利啊！佢又認到，咦，控得幾靚喎！有空位俾佢啦，個波會去邊咧？一腳踢走呢個波，踢得好，有機會傳入去啦，有機會，係時候傳啦喂，射佢啦！可以反擊啦！查列呢腳直線一下，今次得唔得？得手啦！你先得，到呢一分鐘。France has increased their lead up to two. It's now two to nothing. France. A goal from the attacking midfielder Pogba. 
？唔係嘛？咁都射失，俾你落去啊，俾我落去啊，都入啦。And right before the half, <laughs> the Czech Republic cuts France lead down to two to one. So at the 44th minute, it's France two, Czech Republic one. France playing as a warm up. Czech Republic playing for pride. Czech Republic already eliminated from round of 16. France guaranteed first place even if they lose by a billion. Because both Poland and Iceland finished with four points and France already has six before this game. And the best Czech can do is win this game and get three points. But that's not enough to get to third place. So the game is basically meaningless. So we reached halftime of this meaningless match. It's France 2, Czech Republic 1. Let's go to the second half. And if somebody knows the audio of this, the language of this audio, please let me know. So the second half begins. So 
攞半年大腳斬出去，非常時候梗係有非常手段啦。呢、這個時候仲攞咩陣式啊、戰術啊、去啦？冇錯。俾人撞開咗，反擊啦！好啊，相當之穩健啊！啊，兩邊都唔執輸喎。喂，餐屎啦！後面嘅球迷都勁開心啊 ！And in minute sixty-six, the Czech Republic have tied the match at two-two. They're playing very well against France. Why didn't they play this well against the other two lesser opponents, Iceland and Poland? I don't know. Must be sort of like what I said. It's like lack of motivation from France. They're like they're, they got first place. What matters to them is their next game and beyond. And what I mean by beyond is there's no more. It's win or go home, starting from match 37. Starting at match 37 and beyond, there will be no more ties allowed, which means that if the game is tied after uh, regulation, the match will go to a 30-minute uh, overtime and a shootout if it might if it need be. France just scored the third goal by going ahead in the 76th minute. It was off a corner kick, and it looked like header denied. And then another attempt, and it was deflected off. Looks like the Czech goalie. No, one of the Czech players. Yep, Barak. It deflected off his body into the goal, so it counts as an own goal. Uh, basically, Czech Republic made a goal for France. So France is up 3 to 2. It's looking like Czech Republic is going to end this tournament. This is their last game, regardless. It's like they're going to go out, not even with a single point. They could use a little, I mean, a tie versus France would be like sort of a morale boost, even though it's meaningless. Oh, 
Who's gonna win this tournament? I'm wondering. Who the hell's gonna? Who's gonna be playing in game 51 or 52? We will find out in about 20 games from now. <laughs> which which last two will be standing? And the Czech Republic ties the match at three in the 86th minute. If it wasn't for that own goal, they could have been actually leading the match after losing to nothing. So the Czech Republic actually scored four goals. France two, but France gets credit for one because one of the goals that Czech Republic scored was for, for France. So the score is 3-3 three, three after 86 minutes. Are we going to have another draw? Because we haven't had draws for like 28-some games in a row. And now all of a sudden, looks like we might have uh, two draws in a span of two games. And that's a goal by Giroud in the 90th minute, putting France up ahead 4-3. Sort of an unlucky goal for the Czech Republic because it looks like he shoots, gets blocked, and then the ball just goes like dribbling in slowly and the Czech Republic player could not get it to in time to save it out from crossing the line. And it's France 4, Czech Republic 3 in minute number 90. It looks like France will not get denied their perfect nine points. If Czech Republic is going to do something, they're going to have to do something now. Like salvage at least a point in this tournament. And the game actually turned out to be pretty entertaining for a meaningless game. And that's it. France finishes the group with 9 points, Czech Republic finishes with the big fat zero, so France will go through, France of course they win the group, so on to the, to, until next time, this is the channel from the Channel Gaming TV, wishing you all a good day, good night, see y'all, peace, that's all folks.